When you're retired, should you be aiming for a big tax refund or getting closer to break even? I've got a real life planning scenario, that and more coming up. My name is Mike Bernard, I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications and smash that thumbs up button. Do you like getting a big tax refund or breaking even? I think all of us would say, well, yeah, if it's a good tax surprise and all of a sudden I'm getting a whole bunch of credits that I wasn't expecting, yeah, I'll take a big tax refund. But ultimately, when you do proper planning, then you know that a big refund just means you paid in a lot more and, and you're just getting your money back. And again, I'll take it. I, I think realistically, you want to avoid surprises. You want to avoid a tax surprise, even though getting a big refund instead of owing a lot is much, feels a lot better. You, you want to avoid surprises, but then you also want to capture opportunities so you pay the least amount of tax over your lifetime or the least amount of tax every single year. Capture the most deductions, the most credits, all of that. Those are the two goals of tax planning, part of the, the, your six areas of your financial life. When you're working, getting a tax, a big tax refund, um, yeah, it just means that you could have had more money in your pocket, take home, you shouldn't have had as much withheld, but there aren't usually a lot of consequences for that. In retirement, having a big tax refund, there can be consequences, real life consequences to that. What do I mean? Well, here's the scenario. Had a uh, retired individual who's, uh, who's drawing Social Security and you know drawing a little bit out of their investments as well to supplement that and traditionally also has had some other side income from her previous career, which she enjoyed doing, and they still kind of tap her on the shoulder from time to time and say, hey, can you help with this project? And, and she's enjoyed it. Well, over the past several years and sort of since COVID, that tapping on the shoulder has been less and less and less. And then finally, we got to a point a couple of years ago where it was, you know what, you're, you're having a lot withheld on your IRA withdrawals just in case you have this other side income, let's reduce your, your IRA withholdings and, uh, and, and you can still get the same net amount take home, but we'll reduce your withholdings and, and you'll be all set. And then if you do have some of this side income, we can just have you set aside some of that income or, or pay in some extra tax. And, and it was fine, no, no problem. Well, this year, this year, when she got her taxes done, and we're not doing comprehensive financial planning, this is someone who's sort of said, will you just help me with my taxes, and, 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 and that's it. Well, when she got her taxes done, it's a big surprise. Why? Well, she had about five grand worth of this, uh, of this side income. So instead of it like trending down and almost going away, it actually spiked up last year. No problem, and, and that's good. Like, you know, having extra income, that, that's just fine. But her income is in such a, 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 a stage or a, a, an amount where that extra income from her side, from that side hustle, is actually gonna mean more of her social security comes over as taxable as well. So she made an extra five grand from this side business and an extra four grand of her social security that otherwise wasn't going to be taxable ended up being taxable. And guess what happened? Her, that nine grand of additional income then did not have extra withholdings on it. And of course she's in the 12% tax bracket. So it created about eh, $1,200, $1,500 worth of, uh, of tax that she owed when she filed her taxes. Again, from a planning standpoint, I don't like surprises. And so had we been doing planning, then we would have been able to avoid that surprise and maybe even talk to her in advance about, okay, you're probably gonna owe about a thousand bucks. Do you wanna pay that as an estimate? Nah, probably not. Just plan on owing that during uh, at tax time and here's where we'll take the money from. But instead, without planning, her response was, well, let's go back to how things were. In fact, we shouldn't have ever changed them. I still want the same net take home from my monthly withdrawals out of my IRA. IRA, but we need to go back and start withholding a lot extra from my IRA and, and actually went sort of well above and beyond and, and said, I want to hold withhold twice as much federal taxes and twice as much state taxes from my IRA withdrawal. So throughout the year, her withholdings are going to be a, a significantly higher, about three grand higher. But what's the issue? What is the issue? Why is there, why, why am I bringing this up? 
when you're retired, the more you withhold from an IRA withdrawal likely means the you took out more from your IRA than maybe you, you, you needed to otherwise. So in her case, increasing her withholdings for the fact that, well, I might have some side income and it might create more of my social security to be taxable and I don't wanna be caught surprised again, what she's doing is actually walking directly into that tax trap because this extra withholdings that she's doing is actually gonna increase her income by about three grand, like I said. That additional income of three grand, additional like gross IRA withdrawal, is actually gonna cause about three grand more of her, 2,500 more of her social security to be taxable. And then whether she has you know, more side income or, or it goes back down again, not sure, we'll, we'll see how, how that plays out. But the exact issue that she wanted to avoid this year, essentially, and okay, I've actually t uh, got more income, more of my social security is gonna be taxable, and now I have a lot of a, a big tax bill. She's sort of walking right into that tax trap and is sort of going to be, I don't know, Im Im like, sort of deluded or unaware of it um, simply because she's gonna have a lot more withheld. Said differently, she's going to pay more tax, actually pay more federal and state tax because she's want to, wanting to withhold more in the rare instance that she has some higher side income. A better approach, a different approach, would have been monitoring the side income, not changing withholding, so not changing the amount coming out of the IRA, monitoring the side income, and if the side income spikes again like it did this past year, do a quick tax analysis and saying, all right, well, there's gonna be an extra thousand dollars or so due on taxes, do you have that cash from the side income? And if not, we can manage that by pulling that out of the IRA, but, but sort of doing so on an as-needed basis instead of permanently fixing the, the IRA withdrawals at a higher level, creating a, a, bigger, a bigger taxable income and more of Social Security to be taxed. A little proactive tax planning here and awareness of, wait, wait a second, why did I get this result that I got? Uh, could actually avoid or reduce the amount of tax she's gonna pay instead of walking right into paying more tax, the exact problem she, she really should be trying to avoid. So in retirement, depending on where your withholdings are coming from, there can be big consequences to having a big tax refund in retirement. So work with your certified financial planner on that. Do that proactive tax planning where you're looking out a year in advance or a couple years in advance, a multi-year tax projection, or at the very least, a current year tax projection to see where do we think all the chips are gonna fall, what, you know, what will the, the, the taxable result be? And then what opportunities exist for you to pay the least amount of tax? Doing that proactive tax planning work will avoid surprises, either, wow, I got a really big tax refund, did I really need to pay that much in? Or, oh, ouch, that hurts, I, I have to owe, I have to pay taxes. So you avoid surprises, and the, then you identify and capture tax opportunities for you to pay the least amount of tax this year and throughout your lifetime. So work with your CFP on that. If you don't have a CFP on your team, you can contact one of my team. Find us online, cohorn.com. That's cohorn with K, wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there as well, or send us an email, info at cohorn.com. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.